Yo, what's going on? TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. I had somebody hit me up on Instagram DM trying to figure out, like, how do I put this diffuser on? So I got an upload of how I did it, but I actually did do it a different way that I did not post. So let me show y'all. So you can see the diffuser, the side corner splats, and pretty much right here. Where I'm pointing at, that top section is like wide enough to where you can use 3M tape and just put it in that one area. Also, this diffuser comes with like off-brand 3M tape. Don't use it, it's pasty, it's not gonna work. So every video that I use, I always show every material that I use all the time. Only use 3M tape. If it comes with it, cool, throw it away. Buy some 3M tape. So also under the car, I got my supportive um, zip ties right here that y'all can see those little loops. If y'all want to assemble this, make sure you assemble the bottom first and then lift it up in the position that you want it and make sure that you also put some heat on it to preheat it and then stick it on and then take off the red strip preheat that some more since you took the strip off and then apply it to your bumper apply pressure let it sit for a while and then come back add some more heat apply pressure until you're satisfied let it sit for a while and then come back and try to like pull it apart and if it's not as strong or is it or is strong still apply some more heat because you are putting this on the car you are gonna be driving on the highway you are gonna be flying the one thing that i preach is when you like use anything or put it on your car you want to make sure that your pre-clean is a hundred percent max thousand and also you clean the part that comes and then you go ahead and put your 3m tape or whatever other stuff that you use to assemble it and put it together and attach it to your vehicle because my biggest thing is i let i'll do it, it takes me about three days or two days before I put it on the car. I always do all my stuff over the weekend, which allows me to pretty much one day of cleaning slash preparation of cleaning the part and then um, using the heat gun to heat it up and put it on. And then throughout that day, I have a heat fan. Like every 30 minutes, I'll go through each part of the section and I'll let it sit there for 30 minutes, rotate it, let it sit overnight. Then the next day, um, use the heat gun again and then I'll use the heat fan again and then I'll section it out again and wait for a while and then I'll put the part on just because I wanna make sure that the 3M tape is hot and also applying pressure to it y'all like every 30 minutes i go ahead and press like hard and then i'll slide it over let it sit and then when i do another section i'll press that area because when you heat up 3m tape it pretty much uh creates the tape to be more sticky that's why um when it comes to upgrades you tend to want to do it on a hot day not if it's cold outside or raining if so which I pretty much did all my upgrades when it was cold and raining outside. That's why I took it inside, did a long preparation, made sure it was like stuck, won't gonna move. I actually like put half of my weight on there. It didn't move at all just because I wanted to make sure it was good because depending on how long you tend to clean your vehicle, weekly, bi-weekly, or once a month, you are putting a lot of water in that area and then you also, you know, doing soap and then you're washing it, which can create the tape to weaken. But if you're able to 
prep it great, good, and apply that pressure and heat it up, that shouldn't be a problem. I have my um, diffuser on for, I'll say about maybe three months already. Um, the setup, even though I use zip ties, pretty much all of it is still secure. I am going to remove the zip ties and actually replace it, probably not with rib, not with rivets, but something different, um, like a bolt in and a nut with a clamp um, vice or something like that, which I'm going uh, to um, do another upload about that later, but I still got zip ties on. Had zip ties on for about a good, uh, maybe five months, and everything is still secure, tight, great, nothing's loose at all, so... You know, that's why I always say, whoever's watching, use the 3M tape. However you decide to secure it, zip ties, rivets, nuts, bolts, and then weld it together just so it can stay there and never be loose, do what you do. But yet again, also, you can use a heat gun, a hair dryer, and then a heat box fan, whichever floats your boat. If you do use a, um, a hair dryer, just know that it's going to take a lot longer to like heat it up and you are going to be sitting at a couple sections a lot longer because a heat gun also produces way more heat and is more effective than a hair dryer but that's also all right to use so other than me explaining that and showing y'all i hope it was very helpful the video that i did do I think it's like a minute and a half long so I'm gonna just loop it so it can just keep showing like the certain parts and everything like that and yeah pretty much that's all it's very um, detailed and explained so for anybody who's still watching all the way to the end thank y'all so much I love y'all and keep rocking with me Rose fam to the end and hey never be scared or shy to hit me up in the dms on tiktok or on youtube and comment i always comment to anybody like i said before i'm posting this video because somebody reached me out on instagram and you know i'm delivering for them to try to show them even though if i did have the time or let's say if i was doing somebody else's card and they ordered a the part and they was like hey can you put it on for me I can actually like show y'all but like I said when I post the video the very first time I showed y'all the part what it looked like and y'all can go back on that video to see what that lip looked like on the back side instead of the front part but all you're doing is that very straight line and then you can make you can um hit the little corners if you want to but all I gotta say is use 3m tape all the time if the product comes with tape it's not 3m tape and it's probably not waterproof at all and then also it's thick so when you have three uh my bad if you have thick tape it's gonna cause the product to give it that like two two millimeter or three millimeter gap from your bumper to the part so when you actually do like go to a car wash and everything and spray water it creates Kind of like more of a easier um like an easier way of separating like your bumper to your diffuser part which i believe that's why i always use the 3m tape which is real sticky water resistant it's real thin to where when you compress it from the bumper and the diffuser it gives it that flush look finish and It'll always be great. So, like I said, um, like I said, thanks for everybody. Love y'all. Also, I've been posting a lot more on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Posting a lot of videos out today. Today is June the 9th, and I'll catch y'all the next one, man.